Hi, I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and welcome to the Pacific Northwest and the beautiful San Juan Islands in Washington State. This video is everything that you need to know before you go to the San Juan Islands. If you're new here, I put out weekly laid back luxury travel videos inspiring you to buy that plane ticket, get out there and go. And this week, it is July. I'm in a coat, a hat, and I'm in the stunning Pacific Northwest in the San Juan Islands. First and foremost, the easiest way to get to the San Juan Islands is to fly into Seattle, Washington, hire a car, rent a car, and head over to Anacortes, which is the ferry terminal. The ferry will take you to four of the different islands. It will take you to Friday Harbor, which is San Juan Island. It will take you to Orcas Island. It will take you to Shaw, and to Lopez Island as well. So make sure to stop at the co-op in St. Vernon before you get to the ferry because the ferries today are late and we're having a picnic on the bed of our truck before we get on the ferry to head to Friday Harbor. Cheers! When you're purchasing your ticket in Anacortes, it is actually a return ticket. So as long as you're traveling from Anacortes to Friday Harbor in San Juan Island, you will pay that direction, but as you head back to the mainland, it is free for cars, people, as well as bicycles and motorcycles. The San Juan Islands is an archipelago of 172 islands with ferries going only to the four I mentioned previously. You can get around to the rest of the areas by seaplane or by private boat. You know, it's quite rural. It's really beautiful out here. You have these gigantic, gorgeous cedar trees and redwoods, and it is lush and green. There are ferns everywhere. The water is too cold to swim, in my opinion. I am traveling with a friend of mine who is swimming every single day in that Pacific Ocean, but for me, it is way too cold. So a little bit about the topography and what you will see on the San Juan Islands. First of all, let's talk about the animals. It is the place in the U.S. in the contiguous 48 states where you will see the most bald eagles. And I promise I have seen three or four. In fact, yesterday there was one right above me. You will see seals. Hopefully you will see the orcas that live in the area. They are fishing on the salmon that is here. The seafood is delicious, by the way. Make sure to get those West Coast oysters and the salmon. In addition to the animals here, you will find a gorgeous topography with big mountains. Not so big. Mount Constitution is 2,400 feet and it is the second highest mountain on an island in the lower 48. And a little history about the San Juan Islands. It was originally charted in 1791 by a Spanish explorer who named it the San Juan Islands. Since that time, it has been controlled by the British coming out of Victoria as well as the U.S. Currently today, these 172 different islands are part of Washington State and San Juan County. So let's talk a, a little bit about what to bring on a trip to the San Juans. It is July currently and it was 52 degrees this morning and low 70s in the afternoon. The weather is stunning. We have had so much luck with the sun as well. So bring your sunscreen. And I recommend bringing layers. So I have on a tank top, a long sleeve shirt, and a little jacket with me. I would recommend bringing a vest, especially if you're from the South. That way you have different layers for different times of the day. As far as shoes, I have brought Birkenstocks and hiking boots and definitely you want to bring your water shoes. If you decide you want to swim in the Pacific Ocean, which I think is not a good idea, you definitely want to be wearing your water shoes because it's not easy going sandy beaches. And while you're traveling to the San Juans, I recommend stopping on the way in the town of Mount Vernon and going to the co-op to the grocery store before you head out to the islands. The groceries are a lot less expensive and going to the co-op, you get the local plums and cherries and delicious lettuces. Everything is so gorgeous and so fresh. If you didn't get all of your groceries in Mount Vernon or in Anacortes, take note. Every Saturday, all of the major islands have farmer's markets where you can buy beautiful Rainier cherries, black plums, lots of fruits and vegetables, as well as meats and seafood. 
And as far as the accommodation is concerned, there are a few hotels on a couple of the islands as well as Airbnbs throughout the archipelago. My suggestion is, is that you go ahead and you book your accommodation as far in advance as possible. Again, there's not a lot of accommodation and things are relatively expensive and yet they have a laid back rustic flair to them as well. You can also go camping if you'd like, but you want to book that in advance as well, especially in the high season, which is uh, sort of July, August, and early September. As for transportation, I suggest that you get a car while you're in the San Juans and definitely get it on the mainland, either in Seattle or in Anacorte. Another way to travel is by cycling, but unless you're a serious cyclist and can travel many miles a day, it's probably better to hire a car so you can see everything on the islands. Maybe while you're on the islands, you could rent a bicycle for the day. All in all, the San Juan Islands are very low key, laid back, rustic. It is definitely a place you want to come sit, enjoy the sun. You don't have much to do unless you're gonna kayak or go see the orcas. Just relax, turn off that cell phone, shut that computer, and just enjoy the time that you are here in the islands. So how many days should you spend in the islands? I'd suggest perhaps about a week. Maybe spend two nights on San Juan Island, two nights on Orcas Island, two nights on Lopez Island, and maybe go to Shaw Island for an evening. With a week, you can see everything that you want to see, and you also have time to relax and slow down. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video where I talk about all of the best things to do in the San Juan Islands. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I'll see you on the next adventure. When you're going back to Anacortes, it's extra, I don't know, that's not good. Highest point on the mainland, no, 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 start over. Washed up logs. And as a result, no, I don't know what I'm gonna say there. It was originally chartered, charted. Let's talk about a camp, uh, 